Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing and show you how to set up for the very first time this Roborock Q7 Max Plus. Now I was given this to me free by Roborock, so I'm super excited for them to send this to me. I'm gonna set it up and then I'm gonna use it for two or three weeks. I'm gonna show you, give it a real life example of how it works and what I think of it. Okay, so when you open it up, there's this little note here that says, read the instructions that are on the quick start guide. So there's your quick start guide on how to use it. That's what I'll be following. Okay, so let's get everything out. There's this little part. Take this big one off. There's the robot itself. Be careful, it is heavy. Okay, after the robot's out, you're gonna lift this styrofoam up. Okay, so down in here, we got a power cord. And it looks like we got the base unit. We got this piece. And be careful, this is a little heavy. Okay, so this unit you take out, be careful. It is kind of tippy if you stand it upright. So I'm gonna set it down until I'm ready. And one more thing, looks like in the very bottom. Okay, so here's everything out of the box. A cord, we got some books, quick start guide. And the first step is to mount that base unit to this. So that slides on there very easy, but we got some screws on the bottom to screw in. Okay, so the easiest way I found is put the base unit upside down Take the base unit, you're gonna see it goes on there one way. Install it right here, and you'll see there's a little tool even right here, a little Phillips head screwdriver. You're gonna screw these screws down right here. Okay, so we got two, four, six screws. Now don't tighten these down super, you, you want them snug. Don't over tighten them. So see how they're there, that's good, right like that. Make sure it's nice and flush all the way around. Okay, so now the base unit is more stable. I feel very secure about it. I do see this, let's move, remove this off. Okay, so next you're gonna get the power cord and the power cord will only go one way. So put it in like this, make sure it's in all the way. And then you're supposed to wrap the extra cord around these back here. Okay, so I am gonna take this tape off of here and this tape here. Okay, so with that tape off, let's lift this up. It already has a bag installed. So it does come with one extra bag. So if your bag's not installed, looks like, so you just gotta snap them into place if your bag's not installed. And then make sure that is down. You're gonna pull that up when you wanna change the bag to close off the opening. Okay, so this, since this is a, a vacuum mop, it does say you have to place the base unit on a hard surface, not carpet. And it gives you dimensions. It has to be kind of clear in front of it and to the side of it. Okay, so now we've gotta get the app. So I'm gonna use my iPhone, open the camera, and it lets me open it up. Okay, so there's the app I wanna get. I'm gonna get Git. So there is a note here that says it will work on the 2.4 gigahertz, but not on the five gigahertz of your Wi-Fi. Okay, so I clicked on the app. We are gonna to have to sign up. Okay, so you had to, in order to log in, you had to say get code. You had to put your email address in, get code. You had to go to your email, get the code, and then enter the code, and then enter a password create your own password. Now I'm into the account. Okay, so before we turn the robot vacuum on, let's just make sure it's all installed, the roller's installed, the brush is installed, so everything comes installed on this. Okay, so I've got the wall unit plugged in. I wanna to connect to it, so I'm gonna go ahead and dock it. I've got power to the dock. Okay, so once you get it docked correctly, mine was over to the right a little bit, it does power on automatically. Now I'm gonna open up the app and I'm gonna hit scan to connect. Now it turned on the camera, give it access to your camera. We gotta lift this little lever here. There's your QR code, so use your iPhone, find that. Okay, so now we gotta reset the Wi-Fi. Close this and it says hold down these two outer buttons for three seconds until it says Wi-Fi reset. Setting Wi-Fi. Okay, so now let up. You gotta check that you reset the Wi-Fi. Click next. Allow. It wants to use your location. So this is my this find your Wi-Fi that you want this to connect to. I want it to connect to Ginkgo Tree. Well, Oak Tree is fine too, but now put your password. This is the password for your Wi-Fi. It's gonna ask you it wants to join. So there's a Wi-Fi being transmitted from the robot. You want to join that with your iPhone. That little thing is circling. Phone is being connected to the device. So it's going to connect to your Wi-Fi, and then it's going to, to 
It's going to, there's a, there's a Wi-Fi being transmitted from the robot it's going to connect to. Okay, so we've gotten two check marks, and then we got the third. Now click Use Now. All right, looks like it says it's loading. Okay, so that took a couple minutes. Now we got to agree to the legal information. Notes to prevent damage. So it's giving us some notes on what kind of pick up some stuff around the house. You can either, so the default is map saving off. I'm going to turn map saving on. Okay, so my floor does, my house does not have multiple floor. My house does not, so leave that unchecked. I've got a single story. It says there's a firmware update, so we're going to go ahead and update it. Update now. And that light is flashing fast, so we're going to have to do an update and see how long it takes. Okay, so the vacuum spoke to me and said that the firmware update was done. Let's hit the little back button. Okay, so battery level is only 52%. Looks like we're in. Looks like it has a voice pack update also. So now the power light looks like it's just pulsing to show that it's charging. Okay, so I'm gonna pick some things up around the house. You don't, you don't want like loose things around the house on the floor. And then I'm gonna do quick mapping. So here is the mop head attachment. Looks like it's just Velcroed on there and it slides in this rail. So that's kind of nice. It does give you quite a few instructions on network guide. And that was in that box or that, that uh, had all the paperwork in it. And then there is a nice user manual with it that goes over all the different things. So nice user manual. Okay, so I, like I got an extension cord. I'm gonna have to pick that extension cord up before I do some, mop, some uh, mapping. But in the room, I picked up like the dog toys and my slippers. I put those things up, but you can leave things that are normally there, like that stool is normally there. And then down the hallway, I'm going to open all the doors, make sure the bedroom stuff's picked up and the lights are on. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do quick mapping. Map creation, click OK. Starting mapping. Okay, so it does say it's starting. So it's undocking itself and it looks like it's going to go start mapping. So it's kind of turning in a circle here right in front of it. And now it's going away. Uh, that's pretty cool. You, I got the the map. I got the app open, and it's only been running for just a minute, and it's already starting to show the map. That's that's pretty cool. Wow. Okay, so sometimes it moves really fast. Sometimes it kind of stops and goes in circles. But I'm absolutely blown away by the map that it's creating in real time, and it shows you where it's at. Okay, so that did not take very long at all. It docked itself and now it's charging. Okay, so that map is pretty incredible of what it did. And there's a little white line to show you exactly where it went. There's different colors. So it is very accurate of my house right now. So when I click on full and rooms, so it, it tried to make, it came up with too many rooms. So I'm gonna have to go in. I've only got three bedrooms and two baths. So I'll have to go in and kind of um, amend those. But as far as the layout, and there's where it's located, that is where it's located, it did a good job. So it looks like the three little dots up here, I, there's all kinds of, I can create a schedule, auto empty settings, the voice, the robot settings, cleaning history, maintenance. So I'll be going into all of those. But I've got 52% battery level. Let's just tell it to go clean right now. To clean. Okay, so it told me it was starting to clean and it's undocking itself. Okay, it looks like it's starting to clean. It's not super loud. Okay, so it did increase the, vo the volume whenever it went on carpet. So it knows when it's on carpet and it increases the suction. So here's what it's doing. It's got that little brush. I can feel some air coming out those vents right there. And so back over to the map, I can see exactly where it's gone. That's pretty cool. It is in real time too. 
And if I want to just tell it to pause, I can tell it to pause. I could tell it to go back to the dock. Hit cancel, just resume. So I got a lot more videos coming. I'm going to show you how to do the maintenance on it, but I'm actually going to use it for a while and see how I like it. Um, and then I'm going to be doing comparisons. I've got the, the, so I'll be comparing it with my Shark robot vacuum. I've got the Roomba J7 Plus with mopping, so I'll be comparing it with this one that mops. But I'm just going to use it for a while and see how I like the app and how it cleans my house. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.